been on guys welcome to this week's gold and gg weekly forecast my apologies last week i didn't get around to doing it because i was just so busy morning till night with the phantom and the funded lab but i am back here we are let's catch up so first guys i'm going to kick things off with gold and uh, then as usual we'll jump over to gg so let's jump up onto the monthly time frame so what can we see here? Nothing much has changed on the monthly since last week. We had the previous monthly candle close below this support. I was expecting a pullback somewhere into this zone and a continuation. However, the candle decided to go all the way up and wick the previous monthly candle high. So to get an idea of where this might be going next, we ideally need to go on the lower time frame. So weekly time frame, what we're seeing here. So we've got the weekly high here. And uh, last week, we had the weekly candle push all the way up. I was looking for a candle close um, last week because this was Friday. This move happened on Friday. All this move all the way up here, and then it closed all the way back down here. And literally, the same again happened um, this week. So while we have price closing below this current uh, weekly high here, I am looking for sell uh, continuations. I'm looking for a push down. Oh, wrong one. I'm looking for a impulse retracement and uh, i'm looking for a continuation uh, from here down to the weekly lows while we have price underneath here you can see we've got a lot of rejection look price is failing to break failing to break and we have a lot i mean look at those candle closes that's a big wick rejection right there so if we go on the daily uh, we can start building the story here and i mean look we can already see um a head and shoulders like an ugly head and shoulders at the same place we're expecting that weekly continuation and we can see here, look, we've got the previous daily low that has just been broken here. So now we've got the daily and the weekly bearish. So what can we see here? We've got the previous daily candle, a uh, big bearish engulfing candle here that broke that daily low. So we are expecting now a pullback and uh, continuations. However, to get our PLZs, we're going to have to look on the lower time frames. So we go down to the four hour. What have we got? Again, four hours bearish. So we've got the four hour bearish, daily bearish, weekly bearish. So ideally, we want to be looking for sells. If we're going to take buys, obviously, we're going to manage risk accordingly. So what can we see here, guys? We've got this big imbalance here that needs filling. So what I want to see in regards to price, I want to see price break above this zone here, this level. If price gets above here, we could potentially take some low time frame buys up to fill this imbalance here. However, while price is below here, I am going to be looking for continuations from here down to the lows. That imbalance doesn't have to be filled straight away, and a lot of the time they don't get filled when we want them to get filled. However, if we do break above here and we do get a nice little buy confirmation, I will take a small buy. Um, where is my ruler gone? There it is. I will take a small buy up here. As long as the stop loss size permits it and the risk rewards, good. But I will be jumping out because I'm expecting reversals and sells from here because that zone there is a very, very nice zone, um, or a very nice looking zone uh, for sells and continuations. As you see, it lines up on the daily what we're expecting and it lines up on the weekly with what we're expecting. And if we go on the one hour, again, it's just breaking the four hour down a little bit more. We can see, you know, if we can get above here, it's only hourly with a one hour candle close, you know, we can look to take buys up into this uh, supply zone here. We will be jumping out before, um, but if we can get a good position in here, guys, it could be a very nice trade. However, if we get confirmation, you know, if we push up again and we fail this high, um, then I will be looking, you know, for sales from here. So if we get confirmation here, I will sell from here. However, if we break through, it gives us confirmation, I'll look for buys, and then I will look for sales uh, from this um, fully mitigated supply zone here um, for then the confirmation, sorry, continuations uh, on the higher time frame. Now, let's just clear all these lines off because that's a bit of a mess now. So as we know, what we're expecting on the weekly, we're expecting that uh, impulse retracement and then a continuation down here. And we're looking to catch this move or get in on this move from this demands, uh, sorry, from this supply zone here. This will be an A plus zone here um, to take a sell. We need price to get there first though. However, the price doesn't get there and price gives us confirmation here. We will look to take sales oh, from here. And if price breaks above here, we will look to take buys into this uh, supply zone where we then take the profit, wait for confirmation for the sell and jump in the sell. So guys, that's what I'm looking for going into next week on gold. So let's jump over onto GJ and see what's happening over there. So we kickstart things on the monthly time frame. What have we got again? 
and we had the monthly time frame. Not much has changed again. We got this big um, bullish candle close. And again, what happens? Every time a candle closes, the candle opens, and 90% of the time, it will retrace. So this is currently a monthly candle uh, retracement. I was looking for it to come a little bit lower, and um, I thought last week we were going to hit that, and I'll show you why on the weekly time frame um, in a moment. But I am um, overall still expecting GJ to go up. Um, at least two wick above these candles here, uh, fill this imbalance. I want to see the reaction um, if we do break these highs here first. Um, if there's not much reaction and price breaks straight through, I will be aiming for this target and then this target here. So if we go down to the weekly, so you can see we've had the same price action for like three weeks now. Um, price was sitting here, price attempted to go down, fill. Again, the week after, price attempted to go down, filled. And this week, I thought this was going to be the confirmation candle that we were going to see that then take us into sales. It'll pull back this week and boom, we're going to see sales down to these levels, break through this level, you know, get into this demand zone here and then look to take the continuation buys up. However, price rejected and it hasn't given much clue about where price might be going next week. So on the daily here, the weekly and the monthly are bearish. Remember that the daily here is, um, oh, sorry, bullish. And the daily here is bearish. So we've got the previous daily low here. Look, we've got a breaker structure. And not the new daily high here. So while we are in this position, while we're underneath this daily high here, where we're we looking for sells, sells and continuations down to these lows. However, if we break above this daily high here, we're going to be looking for buys and continuations up to these highs here, um, aiming for that imbalance fill that we saw on the monthly and anticipating that that's going to break and uh, obviously continue. So if we look on the four hour, what can we see? Again, four hour is sharing the same high as the daily. Very nice demand zone again. Sorry, supply zone. I always say them the wrong way around. Very nice supply zone here. I'm just going to start saying S and D, I think. It's the same thing. S and D, then it's never wrong. So from this S and D zone here, this is the four hour high as well. So the daily is sharing the four hour high. The four hour high is sharing the daily high. So again, that matches with what we just said a moment ago. If price breaks above, that's going to flip the four hour and what uh, the daily bullish. And then we're going to be looking for buys, of course, because the price action is on our side. Uh, four hour, daily, weekly, monthly, et cetera, et cetera. That's what we want, lining them time frames up. Um, however, if we fake this high, if we just swipe liquidity and we close below, um, then I will be looking for sells, continuation sells, because then we're going to be still trading on the side of the daily and the four hour, uh, which is what we want, because I am still expecting price to come down a little bit further. You see, we week down here. I had an alarm set in this demand zone last week. Super, super nice uh, demand zone here in balance. It's beautiful, beautiful zone that. So that's why I wanted to see price come. I had some alarms um, set there last week, but it didn't. You know, price um, almost made it, but it didn't quite make it down there. So, so um, we're going into next week with our main focus on this level. This is our flip zone here. So if price breaks above, we're buying. If price, um, you know, fakes the high, gives us confirmation, then we're selling. But to guarantee price is going to mess around at this zone. It always will before it gives direction. So make sure you wait for proper confirmation and manage your risk accordingly. And that's it, guys. So thank you for watching. Um, remember, we trade live every single day. Needs the same setups. And uh, we've also got the prop firm smashing, passing, automated, funded lab process, which you can check out. Um, the link is below. And we've got a little presentation there that you can see and go through. It's, it's fucking awesome, guys. If you are seriously looking to, you know, automate your prop firm passing, stack payouts, et cetera, et cetera, go check the video out. And, um, you know, if you're interested, book a call and I will give you a demo. I'll show you everything live on a screen share. So that's it, guys. Thank you for joining and I will see you in the Discord.